Uh, Haas is always um, on our topical of mine because we don't know who's going to be driving for them in 2023 for sure. There's a seat there. Will it be Mick Schumacher? Will it be Nico Hulkenberg? That's a name that has been getting a lot of attention as of late. We've seen Hulkenberg just this season stand in for, for Seb when Seb had COVID earlier on the season. We saw him stand in uh, last season. And the last time we saw him on the grid was in 2019 with Renault and then Daniel Ricciardo took that spot. So what do you think about Nico Hulkenberg returning to F1? Well, credit to my good friend and colleague, Nate Saunders, who mm-hmm. managed to get this story while in Monza, that uh, Haas is seriously considering Hulkenberg as an option. Now, that's kind of come out of nowhere, because as much as everyone rates Nico Hulkenberg, he had a very long career in Formula One, famously, infamously, didn't score Everyone. a podium in that career. And people were wondering, you know, maybe, you know, that's the end of it. And sure, he's been the super sub, uh, especially for Racing Point, and then Aston Martin when it changed names. And he's Every time he's come in, he's performed well. But, you know, is he the future of any of those teams? That was questionable. But, hey, look, you know, if Haas are interested, uh, that's great. Uh, Haas are also looking at their options. I mean, they've got Mick Schumacher there at the moment. Mick's picking up a bit, but they made quite clear early in the year that Mick really needs to do a lot better to hold that seat. So could this be a negotiating tactic? Could they be putting out there, look, we're interested in Nico just to get Mick kind of, you know, a little bit more aligned with what they want from him and whether that be demands over money or whatever, it's hard to know. But this is why we love this period of the season when there's a few open Mm -hmm. seats at different teams and yet there's a number of drivers capable of filling those because it puts a bit of competition in there and the drivers either have to up their game um, or basically, you know, prove themselves that they're the ones that should get it. So, uh, yeah, Nico Hulkenberg back in there. Now, it was only, I think, in the last podcast we did, we were talking about how Alpine had their eyes on Pierre Gasly and for that to happen, Colton Herter was going to make a switch from IndyCar to Alpha Tauri to free up Gasly's place. Now, that's probably not going to happen now because all the all the signs are that Colton Herter isn't going to get that super license. Again, we talked about that a lot in the last podcast if you want more detail on it. But um, yeah, the signs are that might not happen now. So Alpine aren't going to get hold of Gasly if, if, if Alpha Tauri can't replace him with Herta. So sure. they're now looking down the list of names. They're looking at Nick DeVries, of course, who we now know put in that amazing performance at Monza, really put himself in the shop window there to get a seat next year. Uh, they're looking at Jack Doohan, who is a young Australian driver currently in F2. Um, he's in their academy. Now, let's not forget what happened to Oscar Piastri. He was a member of their academy <laughs> and then got <laughs> stolen by a rival team. They don't want that to happen again. So they're now looking at Jack Doohan and say, well, maybe... Maybe we promote him earlier than we'd originally planned. And you know what? The other driver who's been uh, knocked around by Alpine as a, as a potential, it's really more of a rumor than anything else, is our good friend Nico Hulkenberg again. So all of a sudden, it's just blown wide open. And like I said, you've got a lot of, a lot of names who are, who are good enough to land these seats and would be interesting to see in F1, whether they're making comebacks like Nico Hulkenberg or they're making debuts like Jack Doohan or Nick DeVries essentially would be making his first full season. So um, it's an interesting time. And yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on everything with these things. It's always jigsaw puzzles falling into place. Into place and uh, really, once we get one or two drivers making decisions, uh, DeVries also has an option at Williams, for example. Uh, okay. Once they start to make their decisions, then everything else will fall into place and we'll see where, um, where everyone goes. The one name that isn't really getting much mentioned for these available seats is Daniel Ricciardo mm. and uh, that really hints that maybe he is considering taking a sabbatical of some sort whether that's still tied with a team Mercedes was rumored with Ricardo as a reserve driver maybe but and um, we'll have to wait and see but uh, I'm not ruling out anything at this stage and uh, yeah for Nico Hulkenberg to come back seems unlikely just a few weeks ago now it's on the cards from your experience does Haas have time on their side? Do they need to make a decision here quickly or can they wait to the end of the season? I think uh, Haas tend to wait. They do tend to wait on these things. And Gunter Steiner is very good at batting away questions and saying, mm-hmm. look, we're going to wait for you know everything else to fall into place. They've got options. They've got, um, you know, Haas is a more appealing option than maybe it was uh, a year ago when they were really at the back of the grid. So they've got a little bit of bargaining power there as well. But um, they've also got Kevin Magnussen under contract. And we know Kevin is a very good, solid option. So I don't think they're worrying too much. I think they also know that 
if they want him, they can get Mick Schumacher. And I think they also know if they wanted Antonio Giovinazzi, uh, who, of course, is doing a couple of practice sessions for them, he could come in as well. So they know they've got options there. It's just really them trying to figure out who's the most competitive guy, I guess, also at the best price in terms of what they pay them. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content plus live streaming, make sure to subscribe to ESPN Player.